Last time on Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Freezes beef with Goku took it to the next level as he showed up with his dad to jump him. You know someone salty by catching the hands when they bring their dad to fight with you. <laughs> Fortunately for the Z Warriors, Trunks showed up from the future and bodied them both. Imagine getting bodied in the first place and then losing again with your dad. Imagine. Couldn't be me. Anyways, Trunks reveals he's from the future because every anime needs a time travel arc. After being warned that Aaron will die in three years, the training to surpass the powers of Super Saiyan begin. My dick fell off! How will all the non Saiyan characters be relevant from this point on in the story? Find out in this exciting episode of Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. Three years had passed, and the fated day of May 12th had finally come. Alright, we're off! <laughs> Uh, my sternum. Oh. Uh, it's probably nothing. Bro, this is gonna be interesting. The warriors gathered at the time and place that Trunks had mentioned, but she wasn't alone. She had a baby boy in tow. That boy was a young Trunks. Spoilers. The child she had with Vegeta, all except Goku, were surprised to see the child. However. The impending arrival of the androids quickly put everyone back on edge. Wouldn't Piccolo also not be surprised? Can we get F's in the chat for Yamcha? F's in the chat for Yamcha. Here we go. Uh, what? What's going on? An explosion in the city. Is it the androids? Could be. But there's no way to tell from here. Hey, what gives? I couldn't sense their power at all. That's it! They're androids! Which means we can't sense their energy! You're kidding, right? Where could they be? If we can't sniff them out, then we're just gonna have to hunt them down. Yamash just got bodied. Yep! Ah, my sternum! Y Yamcha! Krillin! Yamcha's still alive! I left some sensu beans behind. Get him out of here and give him one, will ya? Uh, right, I'm on it. Okay. So, you're the androids. Odd. How did you figure out that we were androids? You literally just had your entire fist up Yamcha's asshole. You're not a regular human! And it would seem you also knew that we'd be right here. Why is that? You want us to talk? Then you're gonna have to try and make us. Very well. Wait, not here. Let's move somewhere else. Somewhere with no people. You're okay with that, right? Somewhere with no people? Fine. We will allow you to choose the place of your death, Goku. Goku. Dar, I can't wait for Vegeta to show up. <sighs> so, before we fight, tell us how. Tell us how do you know who we are? Very well. I will tell you. Goku, I have been observing you for quite some time now, using an ultra-small spy robot of mine. During the World Tournament, during your fights with Piccolo and Vegeta, I continued my research long after you destroyed the Red Ribbon Army. So that I could someday witness your defeat. Revenge against me, huh? Yes. Because of you, the Red Ribbon Army could never realize its dream of world domination. Because of you, you ruined us from destroying the Earth. Such a stupid ass up. That's why you built like a... Only Dr. Giroux remained. You built like a, um, uh, expired pineapple. You're talking almost as if you're Dr. Giroux himself. Don't be ridiculous. I am a creation of his. I am Android 20. Dr. Giroux is no longer among the living. He ain't lying, technically. All right, then. Did you happen to observe my fight on Planet Namek? Planet uh, what? There was no need to waste the time. We were able to effortlessly ascertain your power after your fight with Vegeta. Man, is he wrong? You're in for some real trouble, because guess what? You missed the best part! What was that awkward pause? What? Whether you know it or not, you just dug your own grave. You don't know about Super Saiyans. Ah! Yeah, get it, Goku! I see. Impressive. Imbre no cause for concern. Imbre 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 team here should be more than enough to defeat you. Oh, yeah? 
Let's do this. Well then, what do you say? Aura. Surge mode. There we go. There you go. There you go. Look at you. Stupid. I'm out of breath. Why would Goku be trying to rush the fight? He's already nearing his full power. He's in a lot of pain by the looks of him. Stupid. Goku, don't fire any energy attacks. They can absorb them with their hands. <sighs> absorb the attacks. <clears throat> Give me a break. <sighs> Wait. It can't be. It's the heart virus the kid from the future mentioned. What? You mean he hasn't taken the medicine yet? Trunks did tell you about this. Man, I'm, I'm not doing so hot. What's going on? Yeah. Oh, he about to beat your ass. But wait! My boy Vegeta! He about to show up! There it is! Yeah! If anyone's going to defeat Kaku, it's going to be me, not some junk puppets like you. Tell him, Vegeta! Vegeta! The hard virus that the kid from the future mentioned. That's likely what he's struggling with. No. I'm mad that Yamcha came back now that I think about it. Somebody needs to get him out of here. Give him that heart medicine right away. Looks like you've got to deal with me now. Can a machine like you experience fear? Android 20, please allow me to exterminate Vegeta. Hmm. Very well. Then I will take care of the remaining four. <laughs> you two don't look as tough as everyone had said you would be. We already know the full extent of your fighting prowess. Do you now? Oh, do you now? More than calculations to understand us Saiyans. Yeah. Me, are androids capable of experience? Yeah. Vegeta's a, a super Saiyan. I've yearned for nothing more than greater power and trained the hardest I've ever trained. Eventually, I came to realize the limitations of my power. Overwhelmed with anger and frustration, I finally awakened and became a Super Saiyan! That might be oppressive to some. A paltry power increase does not make you a match for us androids. Okay. That cocky sneer will soon be turned into sheer terror. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. What's up, 19? Now that I've become a Super Saiyan, no one can best me. Well, let's do this. About to beat your ass. Oh, boy. Let's do this. Put you on the headbutt. There we go. The stupid ass down. Oh, he's still fighting. I thought he was dead. Woo! Ooh! Yo! What's wrong? Did you make a miscalculation somewhere? Vegeta! What's up? Oh, he hit me. Look at that. That's so cute. That should kill him. Hey! Let's finish it. Do the infamous scene. Take this. 
Have a taste of Super Vegeta's Big Bang Attack! Yes! <laughs> Bro, that was dope. It was a little bit different, but I still appreciate the explosion. That, that felt like it was impactful. Oh, no, nope, I guess we don't have the cutscene. You want to fight now? You used up a lot of my power. If you want to take me down, now's your chance. Your power may have exceeded my initial calculations, but it's still not enough to defeat us androids. Why are you running? You're not going anywhere. Yeah, he really just, he, he really just said, I'm going to head out. I want to see the end of the androids with my own eyes. Yeah, count me in too. Me too. Fine. He's trying to lose us among the rocks. If you amplify android terror. Impressive, you did better than I expected. Cutscene. Got you, bitch. <laughs> no calling your comrades now. Your energy will be all mine. You should have known about his telepathy. Get over here. Uh, uh, Mr. Piccolo! Over there! <laughs> You're as good as dead. My boy! Uh, how did they find me? Let me at him. About to beat his ass. Dog, the transitions from the cutscenes to the gameplay is dope. And what does a weakling like you hope to accomplish? What's he doing? What does that do? I will eliminate. Attack, attack, attack. I missed every attack. Go. Made these nuts. Eliminate you. Okay, Mr. Spam. Woo! Woo! Okay, dog, super armor. Whoop! I tried to dodge. There we go. Bro. Whoop! Oh come on, it's bull. Just as I calculated. Don't take this life. Can I can I get out of this? God damn! I will eliminate. Alright, he's really annoying to fight. I will eliminate. Oh my god. I will eliminate. Come on. I did my vanish. Oh my god. What are you doing? Of course. Finish, 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 finish. This is inconceivable. What's wrong? Another What's wrong? Calculation. Dog, the super armor on the photon wave is annoying. Oh, come on. Oh my god, I'm so tired of this man. Bro. Most annoying boss fight of all time. Got that? Okay. I drained you of your energy. You should have nothing left. We can instantly increase our energy during a fight. What you drained was only the tip of the iceberg. Get him. There we go. Yo, Jerome really activated the big suck. Oh, cutscene. Wait. These aren't the androids I know. What's going on? If it's not them, who is everyone fighting? Uh, 
I refuse to believe that even Piccolo could have increased his power this much. Racismo. I have made a grave miscalculation. I have no choice but to return to my lab. And activate 17 and 18. Everybody's here, so it looks like we all avoided getting wiped out. Which must mean we've changed the future. Hmm? Hey, guys! Now! Dr. Shiro? None of you have any hope of winning! Android 17 and 18 will make short work of the lot of you! What? Ah! Brother! Did he just say <laughs> trunks? That's my son's name. Put two and two together, you idiot. That means. Are you Bruh. all right? Hey, it's you from before. So you came back, huh? Yeah. I thought I would come and offer my support. But who were you fighting? Where is that wrinkly robot? He used the smoke to make his getaway. Damn it! Why didn't you try and save your wife and child just now? Foolishness. I have no interest in things like that. <laughs> Good old Vegeta, right? I saw what looked like a badly damaged android on my way here. That might have been the actual Dr. Jiro. I've seen a photo of him in one of my books. He probably modified himself to extend his life. No way. You mean my coming here years ago changed history this much? So this part is kind of confusing. Jiro in like 19 existed in Trunks' timeline. It's just that 17 and 18 took over, which is why he never found out about Jiro in 19. So it's not that he changed the timeline. He just never experienced that aspect of the angels taking over. That's what it is, right? Because this has always been kind of like unclear in, in this story. He mentioned androids 17 and 18. Those were the two you were talking about, right? Tell us, what do they look like? Right. Android 17 is a young man with long black hair and a scarf around his neck. Android 18 is a young woman and her outfit is more or less similar to mine. Krillin out here like, young woman you say? And an android? And one? Uh, a female type? Come on, Krillin! <laughs> Bruh. We'll find the location of Dr. Jiro's lab and destroy it well before he's able to activate androids 17 and 18. <laughs> I'm above such cowardly tactics. Let him activate them. I'll turn them into scrap with my bare hands. No! We have to destroy his lab before he activates the other androids. And if we can't, then we have to avoid fighting until Goku is fully recovered. We have no need for Kakarot. You're forgetting that I'm a Super Saiyan now too. And I'm no ordinary Saiyan. I'm the prince, which means I'm leagues above Kakarot oh my in God, terms Vegeta. of power. Don't stand in my way. Interesting. Uh, if you're new here, I'm sorry. This is a, this is a norm on my channel. Cutscene? It's close. Kind of. What just happened? Oh! How dare you? I created you. It's time! You didn't create us. We had lives before you ruined them. Listen to me. You must eliminate Goku's allies. They're coming. That's an order. You hear that? It's an order, 17. We're not going to follow a single one of your orders. We're just going to take care of ourselves now. His voice is so perfect for this Teaser. character. There's another one. What in the world is going on in there? Let's go. I feel a lot better now. Now, I do want to know what happens to 16 in Trunks' timeline. 
Was he just never activated? Is he just still sitting there in his lab? Like, what happened with that? Did it get destroyed? Hey, what's that? Hey, I don't think I've seen you before, big guy. Interesting. What's your number? 16. Android 16, huh? Interesting. Uh, Android 16? I've never heard of an Android 16. Wait, so, so those are the androids that Dr. Giroux was talking about? Trunks, can you confirm that these are the androids you originally warned us about? Y yeah, but uh, I've never seen that large one they called 16 before. What? At least I haven't seen him in my time. So what's going on here? <laughs> Who cares? Just one more hunk of scrap to add to them. Wait, where's Dr. Giroux? He dead dead. Oh, the old man? <clears throat> I took care of him. <laughs> Are we about to get jumped? All right, let's go. Arm break. You're going? To where? I'm not crazy about doing what Dr. Giroux wants, but as androids, I think we should do something. So let's go kill this Goku guy. Hey, 16, you were created specifically to kill Goku, right? Da. Correct. Well, I have I no other option. It then. Yeah, I like how they just leave. Like, you, you're not worth our time. Where are they going? Don't tell me they're actually going to try to find Goku. Well, that's what Dr. Giroux wanted, right? To kill Goku. I couldn't give a damn about that. How dare they ignore the mighty Vegeta! Sigh. We saw how this ended. I like how they're just walking. They just picked out. Hey, that's my collectible. Put that down. Well, well. I didn't expect to see you rejects roaming around in here. You're going to tell me where you're going right now, whether you want to or not. We're off to find Goku. We're gonna kill him. See, that's what I thought. Too bad that's not going to happen. Because I'm going to blow every one of you to pieces. So who's up first? The punk? The woman? Or maybe I should just scrap all three of you trash cans at once. Stand a trash can trash! Wait, that's right. We still haven't seen what you can do, 16. Why don't you fight him? I do not want to. Negative. My prime directive is to eliminate only Goku. Wow, what a letdown. Fine, I'll do it then. <laughs> Be warned. I don't plan on going easy on you just because you're a woman. You can't say that in 2020, Vegeta. Let's do this! So I guess since you're an android, you're not oh, missed. Alright, what are the attacks? Hit him? Don't tell me. Oh, come on! Do, Super armor. <laughs> There we go. Woo! That looks beautiful. What's up? Stop running. Wow. I didn't think you had this much in you. Does that mean that that Goku guy dodge, is dodge, dodge, stronger dodge. than you? I'm the stronger one. No matter. It's not like you're a big deal. Either. Dog! I Super armor, hello? Check my key. Surge! There we go. I'm angry! Like you're hey, steam. God. I guess I better put you out of your misery. There we go. Oh, come on, I shot that out. That's a hit her, hit her, hit her, hit her, hit her. Why cancel it? Dodge. Dodge, 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 dodge. There we go. A little sloppy, but it worked. S rank. We good, and we hit level forty. Here we go. Maybe I shouldn't admit this, but I'm actually kind of impressed you held out this long. Damn you, woman! Now you've done it. Oh, I think it's time we end this little game. Ooh. Oh! Oh! That was very weak. Okay. I'm mad that scene was better than the arm break. Arm break is iconic. Come on, CC2. You guys could have done better on that one. Uh, 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 
You can definitely tell when they made this game, they picked their favorite scenes. It's like, okay, if we can go all out on these, like, I don't know, 10, 20 scenes in the game, where do you rank them? And they probably went down the list and, like, went crazy on the good scenes, and then everything else like that, they kind of, like, went, you know, weaker at. Because, you know, timelines. Don't worry. They're still alive. You'd better hurry up, though. Give them those sensu beans of yours. So, should we get going? But aren't we going to ask them the whereabouts of Goku? This is more fun. Nah. It'll be more fun if we have to find him ourselves. Ugh. You can be such a child sometimes, Seventeen. You know that? You think so? Whatever. I'm fine as long as we can make a stop in town. My clothes are a mess. Sure, why not? Uh, hey! Wait, wait! Huh? What do you want? <laughs> what is it that you guys are after? I mean, why are you doing this? Well, we hate first, humans. we're gonna take care of Goku. I mean... Why are you going after Goku? Hey, this is all just a game. You probably won't just stop because I asked you to, right? Negative. We you heard the big guy. Yeah. But shouldn't you be helping your friends instead of talking to us? <laughs> They're gonna die. He's really trying to get 18's number right now. Oh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> See ya. Bye. I gotta help the others. Bro, they gave that scene a real cutscene, but not the arm break? Come on, guys. Come on, bro. So they knew all about the sensu beans and just let us go on our way. They didn't even feel the need to kill us. <laughs> Don't go after him. Just leave him be. He'd finally become a Super Saiyan and regained his pride and confidence as a warrior. Getting beaten that badly was probably too much for him to take. Even Trunks, who defeated Frieza so easily, couldn't lay a finger on them. It's as if Trunks told him about this. That's it, isn't it? No matter how strong Goku gets, there's no way we can win. Okay, here's the plan. You guys go to Goku's house. Before we do anything else, we need to make sure Goku gets better. Bet. Uh, so, uh, right. <laughs> What's gotten into Piccolo all of a sudden? Uh, he went that way. Uh, okay, I think I get it. He's got one final trick up his sleeve. One final trick? What do you mean? That trick! So... You know what's in that direction, right? Huh? I'm not really sure. What are you trying to say? It's Kami's place. Something I love about the, the Android saga is there's so much character development for a lot of people. Like, Piccolo goes from, you know, never wanting to even talk to Kami to fusing with them. You see stuff like Vegeta accepting that even though he's a Super Saiyan, he still has to, like, get stronger and stuff like that. There's so much that happens in this arc that's actually really, really dope. So I, I, I mess with that a lot. And? What does that have to do with anything? When I was back on Planet Namek, I spoke to Guru. He told me that if Kami and Piccolo hadn't separated, they'd be as powerful as a Saiyan. A Super Saiyan. So, I'm betting that Piccolo's gonna combine with Kami and go back to being his true warrior self. But wait, if Kami ceases to exist... Uh, but if either of them dies separately, well, then the same thing's gonna happen anyway. So. Piccolo probably feels like this is our best shot at taking down an enemy this powerful. But what about my fa- I, I mean, what about Vegeta? What do you think he's up to? Relax, there's no need to hide it anymore. I mean, we already know that you're Bulma's kid, all grown up and from the future. Vegeta's the only one who doesn't know. He knows. What? Uh, oh, uh, I see. I'm sorry for hiding it from you. Hey, no need to apologize. I'm going to meet up with Chaozu. Gotcha. We're gonna get Goku and take him to Master Roshi's place, okay? Okay. Make sure you tell Goku not to overdo it. Right. We'll tell him. 